Bradley back. Well, the Lightning are so good at taking away the passing lane, you can't try to pass through the Lightning. We get two oh. examples. Eric Lindros with a big shot on Ulanov from the far side. They see that bullseye on Eric Lindros, and other teams really go after him, and that's what Tampa's tried to do. <laughs> Well, Igor is now saying to himself, you know what, I think I might get rid of this pass a little sooner next time. Oh, what a hit. Players heading to the bench, and he's hurt again. The players already missed one game. There's Patin. Lindros got hit too. Eric Lindros is now lined up. Both of the players who have gone after him, and Patin is still down. Petit is the man that has been quoted widely as saying, I love hitting Eric Lindros, I love hitting John LeClaire, I'm in their heads, they don't like it, I'm going to go after them again. Here comes Michel Petit to hit Eric Lindros. I think that kind of in a concealed way, Eric got him with a stick right in the nose, but he was smart enough to know that it would be shielded from, from Bill McCreary. The counting hits, close check shot, and there's a cover made. That's one of the few times, look at this! John Cullen tried to draw a penalty. Burr just got knocked down on the ice away from all of that. And the linesmen are running all over the place trying to get in ahead of the players. They got too many players to put out. As they put out one, another one starts someplace else. This will most likely, after Michel Petit leaving in a pool of blood, get ugly. There's Rudy Poshek again. Bo's checking Antoski. Bill McCurry's got at least two. Ron Hextall squeezed the puck off. Sean Burr went up high with the stick on Chris Terry and Shel Samuelson came in. The Flyers are trying to just take this right now because they know that with Petit headed out of the game, they maybe have the chance to have the Tampa Bay Lightning on the run. Oh, and then when Terry got in close, he got Sean Burr back. Meanwhile, Sean and Toski were just like a shark on the outside, just cruising, looking, waiting. On the blue line, knocked down. Tucker there. Tucker to Burr. Burr! Takes the shot on the far side. Guess who? Eric Lindros. The names are the same. Results different. Dan Zulanov going down after Eric Lindros plastered him. Michel Petit left the game. He should be back with the bad nose. Sean Burr was the last guy to beat Eric Lindros. So, names the same, different result. Right here, as soon as Michel Petit came back, it started to get snarly here again. Eric Lindros with a hit on Chris Bratton. Finishing the check. And we talked about John LeClaire taking some of the heat off of Eric Lindros, getting into the physical stuff. That is John LeClaire and Michel Petit, and Petit was going no fear. He went right at him. Caught him in the face with his stick, too. No call. He could easily have picked up at least a double minor on that one. Here is Weimer with a spin-around shot. The bouncing puck finally squeezed it off. Bradley had gone in looking for a rebound, nowhere to go, and what a bloodbath. That, that's a little too close for comfort. Brian Bellows got a nip in the eyelid, it looks like. There's Michelle Petit saying, hey, listen, I played already in this hockey game. The penalty box after the officials again discuss the incident. Yeah, left of the screen, there's Brian Bellows in the background. There's the Double minor, four minutes for house sticking. There it is. Oh, gosh, that was Bobby Porcum. It was Bobby Porcum was there, so again, a mistaken identity, but it's the same effect. I mean, you've got a guy in the penalty box, and especially when your team is down by a couple of goals. So there was the slash. Boy, the sticks are high. Petit still going at Lindros. Look at Michelle Petit standing over him. Michel Petit is a 205-pounder. He gives away 30 pounds to Eric Lindros. But he has sure embraced this assignment, the notion of his job in this series. And that is get Eric Lindros off of his game. <laughs> Two on Kevin Collins on a take there. <laughs> At the lines. <laughs> Center. Knocked away. Lindros has it. Davey knocks him down, and Lindros is holding his face. No call here either. It's kind of...
been like guerrilla warfare. I mean, nothing's been out in the open so that everybody's been able to see it. Referees have had to con confer with the linesman. There it is. Aaron gave me with the hit, and it looked like the hit that Eric Lindros laid on Michelle Petit. High stakes are called no respect hockey. At one point, especially with all of the, the men in, in the penalty box, the power plays. And Corey Cross has been big in this series for Tampa Bay. Shot, poop of the save. Picked up by Swoboda. Takes the hit from Weimer and a high one. And another penalty. And here they go again. Bellows takes a shot at Swoboda. Well, that's Weimer again, Gary. But you do, and you know what? That is a young guy's bad, bad mistake. If Billy McCreary gives Peter Swoboda anything, I'll be surprised. And Weimer's had one already. He dropped the gloves that looked like he nailed Peter Swoboda. Swoboda was backing up, and I'm sure Swoboda said, come on, you want to go? Let's go. But you got to know Savota's not going to drop his gloves. It's Short-handed somebody. Here's what happened. Billy Holder had, if, if Weimer doesn't leave his feet there, he doesn't get called, I don't think. But he left his feet. We're explaining how he came around and hit him the, the first time, and then here's the second. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't knock him out. He looked like he landed one on the button there, right on the chin. The 3 nothing lead, they're still on it. He's in Lindros. on Pupa, you cover. Lindros got driven into the net after he took that shot. Did he ever, Gary? Rudy Poshek. I don't even know if Eric Lindros knows where he is here. Hey! Yeah, he's going for his stick. Rudy Poshek buried Eric Lindros' face, or at least tried to, right into the corner of the goal. Watch it from here. So watch Lindros reach for his rebound right there, and that's what Poshek... <laughs> Went off, Ulan off. Harriet holds it in. Ulan off, trying to sweep it away. Good. Lindros reversing, and he got hit again! And this time there'll be a penalty. And it's Polchek again. Lindros getting up. He gets whacked by Polchek as he goes by. What is he doing? Is he out of his mind? His team is down 3 nothing. He knew he'd gotten called for a penalty. He went back and found Lindros and on open ice slashed him. Lindros had left one glove in the corner. Give them the tickets. Oh, he almost got the, the knee up on him on the way down. This is one we talked about. Brian Burke is going to be watching tape on the second power play goal. Flyers have now scored on back-to-back -back shot. That was goal number four. Igor Ulanov. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Face off. Coming at center. John Tucker again. And again, we'll lose it. Here we go. Petit. Uh oh, look at this now. John and Tuck, you better be careful because he's going to put his team at a huge disadvantage, and it may not be for this game, but Bill McCurry was all over that. The puck was dropped, Sean Antoski dinged Michel Petit right off the bat, and then just blatantly went after him. So you better be careful here, Bill. He's going to add some more. That's, not, that's what I'm saying, yeah. He's not stopping here. No. And Brian Burke is going to have some calls to make on some of these situations when he gets back to review them. He's going to have to rent one of our mobile units that has about 14 screens on it and 74 different bays for viewing tape. You can't, you can't be doing what Antosky's doing here. You're putting a lineman at risk by continuing to go after the opponent when yeah. you're being held off. That's one of the biggest, strongest in the NHL, Kevin Collins. I've seen Kevin Collins in this building. Kevin Collins is fearless. Now he's given Antosky a piece of his mind. That's he finally came back after the second period and started. Watch this. Boom. There's the first shot from Sean Antosky, and then he just said, whoa, I'm just going to go after you. That right there is where Sean Antosky could have, should have let him go. Petit finally showing a little discipline out there for a Tampa Bay player down 4-0 here. What they had in their sights, just like Eric Lindros, what I think they may be unhappy about if there are suspensions, the belief here in Philadelphia is always if you hit them hard enough, you'll win every game. And the goals come kind of as an aside. Sent in wide by Bradley. Hextall! Shaw runs into him and a penalty coming. Hextall looking... Well, now Hextall playing peacemaker. He is actually pulling Eric Lindros back out of the pile. Ron Hextall looked like he was going to try and get his gloves off and dive in. A younger Ron Hextall might have. Reese will come out to play. Oh, they 
Dean still on the power play. Ulanoff is taking a beating here tonight. Did he get hit by Podine? Man, what a hit. John Podine came back to getting Lindros cleared it out of the zone. Ulanoff again. Ooh, got the stick up on the flag. Yeah, that, that was just a blatant slash across the arms. And... Uh, Black took that one, and the puck ends up being hit with a high stick. Hurt on that play. Who was hurt on this play? Not Igor Ulanov. He was just had his helmet rattled again. Igor Ulanov has played one hell of a hockey game. Flyers are back at full strength. Shut up. Shut up. Along the boards, Podine sticks up again. It was Petit, it was down on the ice. Sure was, and who was that that waited in? Corey Cross. Oh, still getting ugly. Michael Renberg with a major takedown, and now Chris Bratton and Joel Otto look like they're ready to start swinging. Bill McCreary has done as good a job as any referee could to try to keep this game under control. And finally it's busting open. That is Bratton and Joel Otto, two men about equal size. Ooh, what an uppercut by Joel Otto. Looks like a miss. Well, one of those didn't miss. Well, you got to keep your hands off. You're on the bench. You got another visit from Brian Burke or discussion with Brian Burke. At least Joel Otto and Chris Grattan look like they're fair and square and letting each other go but away from that the jaws of life are going to need to be brought out to pull people apart Mark's men in tonight's game and Michelle Petit has been one of them John Bodine went after him knocked him down cross came over to retaliate <laughs> Our final score, the Flyers 4, the Tampa Bay Lightning 1. And now Philadelphia leads at 3-2.